Okay, so you're back and I'm here too. Isn't this good? So we're here together to look at some of the topics in the media that pertain to Megan, Megan Markle and Prince Harry, of course. But let's look at this little article quick, quick. But before I get started, you know the disclaimer in full is in the description below. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. I just share my thoughts and opinions and views. You can call it gossip. I like to research, but what I do is I read in between the lines and offer up my thoughts on the whole thing. Because a lot of the crap that's being uh, reported seems fake. It seems like it's not real. It seems like it's bogus. And we're still being fed things that they think we want to hear. Okay, so we're together here and the full description is below. All my content, as you can see right now, is found on the public domain. So here we go. We're on CCN. I'm not really sure what they stand for or who they are, but it's CCN, and I kind of like them. They have a stance of, they have a tendency to be a little critical of Megan and whatever's pertaining to her, but it, in all honesty, they often write exactly what many naysayers are thinking. In other words, people that are like, no, this is bogus. What, what this is being reported right now about Megan is just it's just fluff and so that's what we need we need people to report things that challenge the mainstream media outlets who are reporting about fashion and lip gloss and hats and Megan having a baby possibly Megan maybe possibly moving into another place Megan refusing to do this Megan refusing to do that Megan's 18th business idea that she's thrown out into the ethernet, you know, the ether and has it come bouncing back out of there, like with a brick attached to it. So today I want to read this article right quick. It was published May 1st. Today is Sunday and it says Meghan Markle's asinine lawsuit will completely, will leave her completely humiliated. Excuse me. Meghan Markle has already suffered a blow in her fight against the Daily Mail. Her fans are pretending it isn't all that bad, but a hint, it is. Like those who have come before her, she'll end up with nothing more than a lighter bank account and some battered pride once all is said and done. Now the source is Tim Roke, or Roke and Poole via routers. And the image is edited by CNN. Okay, so Meghan Markle has begun her big fight against the British media outlets that she claims have done her wrong. Almost everyone except her knows that this is a fight she cannot win. She should settle out of court, move on, and accept the media coverage is part of her celebrity life. Now, I want to stop there just because it's really important to look at this saying her celebrity life because she had signed on and married a prince who supposedly serves, he's a family member of the British royals. As a British royal, they are paid some type of salary to carry out official duties, whatever they are. And it's always in the public eye, everything they do. Everything they're related to is always out there, and that's their job. So if your job is to be a civil servant or to be in the public eye or to serve the public, such as the Commonwealth, then you can expect that a lot of what you are is shared with the public, including this letter that I feel I remember reading something that went on to say that she shared it with her father and some it, the article that I read and I can't I don't have the link but if I come across it I'll post it that people believed in the media circle believed that she gave that letter to her father knowing all well that it potentially could come around to being in the public eye again published or talked about 
or her father might have done an interview and spoken on it. Come on, she wrote the letter to her father, knows how her father is, and the whole thing of the letter was because he was sharing things with the public, so hence she wrote it and she knew that most likely a piece of it would get there. So when you say celebrity, that she should accept the media coverage as part of her celebrity life, I agree. Especially since that's all she's ever wanted to be. People, she wants people to want to hear her talk. She wants people to listen to her name and become a household name and have some type of feeling, feel some type of way when they speak her name. There was a handful of Meghan Markle fans who thought who bought into the idea of her stepping up and supposedly supposedly challenging the evil, nasty British media in court. A few deluded minds, most likely including her own, believed that Megan would heroically strike a blow against the freedom of the press that the UK has enjoyed for decades. But luckily for the rest of us, it doesn't look too good for Malibu Meg thus far. Early signs are that Meghan Markle is set to be thoroughly humiliated. Now, before Sussex Squad stalts, stalwarts send me angry emails about how it's still early in the case and so forth, I agree. It is early. But anyone who thinks recent developments aren't a sign that things aren't going well in this living in a fantasy world. They are living in a fantasy world. (coughs) Excuse me. As would be expected with a high profile case such as this, there has been plenty of scrutiny by highly qualified lawyers. And boy, does it not look good for Megan. Mark Stevens, a partner at Howard Kennedy, has commented, For Megan, this judgment is like a train plowing into petrol tanker on a level crossing. It is a complete disaster. She's been humiliated today. Every complaint by Associated Newspapers has been completely and utterly vindicated by the judge. I feel that it's important to stress that this isn't my opinion or even the opinion of an anti-Megan media outlet. This is a professional opinion of an actual legal expert. Does Meghan Markle simply want her day in court? Then why is she even pursuing the matter? Well, there are two possible answers. The first is that she wants her day in court, but I doubt that is the case. Neither Meghan Markle nor Prince Harry has that kind of financial capital to waste fighting against media outlets of this size. Remember that the chairman and controlling shareholder of the Daily Mail is billionaire Jonathan Harmsworth, fourth Viscount Viscount Rothmer, Rothmer. So Jonathan Harmsworth fourth Viscount Rothermer. So he's a billionaire that owns the controlling, he's a control, he's a chairman and controlling shareholder of the Daily Mail. If you, if you jumped on the British royalty and aristocratic bandwagon, then Meghan Markle met Prince Harry, you might want to look him up. His financial and social clout is the stuff of a legend. His net worth stood at around $1.3 billion as of 2017. Oh, and the parent company of the Daily Mail is DMGT, a corporation with some $2.3 billion in revenue. That's why the more likely explanation for the lawsuit is that Megan has surrounded herself with people who are, doing, who are doling out terrible advice. Megan lost the first round. She'd be wise to call it a day. Now, I don't want to read any more, but I do want to say this. I wonder, just as a person on the outside of all this, I wonder if Megan, if she thinks that she might win against the big wigs or those powers that be, will she try to use any of her winnings to go towards her new charity for Archwell? 
think about that. I want to leave you with that. But that's what's running through my mind. Of course, she probably thinks at some point that she's totally, completely right. And she was, you know, went to her legal counsel. But why would her legal counsel agree that she should try to sue? So we have one side of the fence saying that she cannot win, no way, no how. And then we have another side, her counsel, that says, yeah, let's go ahead and bring this to trial. Let's do this. So two different lawyers, two different sides. We'll see what happens. But my thinking is beyond all this. Would Megan, if she won this particular lawsuit, would she use the money to fund Archwell? Think about it. Of course, I expect that they'll always say, any winnings will go to charity, right? But will they go to Archwell? And will we hear in the news that it went to some other portion of a charity which is actually connected to Archwell? That's just my thought. That's what I think. Not because I don't think of good things, or that I don't want it to be true. If she won, she'd do something good with the money. It doesn't matter. It's it's just my opinion. I think that if she won, I kind of wonder if she'd go ahead and throw that money towards Archwell, her new charity. All right, I will see you in the next video. Take care and remember, please subscribe. The more that I have subscriptions, the more that I rise in algorithms and of course, share, like, and comment. I thank you. I wish you peace and wellness. See you in the next video. Bye.